Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be showing you a guaranteed farm that you can use to get yourself a Breath of the Dying in Borderlands 3. If you have an idea for any weapon or item that you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments below, and let's jump to it. The Breath of the Dying can be directly farmed for by targeting Blinding Banshee that you can find in Desolation's Edge, at this area of the map. You can travel to either of the fast travel points and take a car to where she spawns. However, you do want to make sure that you grab this spawn point on your way there, as you could spawn back at the start again if you miss it. From here, just spawn a vehicle and make your way down the hill to her lair. She has armor but shouldn't be much of a challenge for you, especially on the lower mayhem levels. And even on the higher mayhem levels she's very easy to kill. It took me a couple of seconds to kill her without mayhem levels, so just about any gun you take to the fight will do. It took me a little while to get the Breath of the Dying though. I received it on my 20th kill and that was all I had to show for those 20 attempts. She can also drop the Red Queen Legendary Grenade mod which could throw a spanner in the works for your farming session and it may take you twice as long to get one. On top of that, she is also the only person who can drop the Shrieking Devil, a rare melee one shotgun. Also remember that increasing your mayhem levels will not help you get a Breath of the Dying any faster, as a loot drop increase only affects well drops. You will however have a higher chance to get an anointed Breath of the Dying. So how about the Breath of the Dying? What's unique about it? Is a Mandarin and a Satsuma the same thing? Well, the Breath of the Dying is an always corrosive dull assault rifle that comes with both fully automatic and 5 shot burst firing modes, and you'll find the fully automatic mode to suit you best. It deals high damage at a high fire rate and also has a decent magazine and reload time, with great stats across the board. Because it always comes in corrosive, it is a great weapon of choice for the handsome jackpot DLC, and you'll see me using it on Mayhem 4 against loader bots in this gameplay. Its special effects may not be immediately obvious at first, but that's because you need to kill someone for it to take effect. When killing someone with the Breath of the Dying, a radial burst of corrosive orbs shoot out from the dying target, dealing high corrosive splash damage to anyone in their way. It can also damage you too, so beware, I have been downed by them a couple of times before. This effect is in line with its name, and the Breath of the Dying that it produces is a great way to weaken or even kill any nearby enemies. Overall, the Breath of the Dying is a great corrosive weapon that is perfect for stripping down armor, whoever your opponent may be. Its unique effect makes it very useful while mobbing and killing enemies who are grouped together and there really isn't anything negative to say about the gun, so that's all for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any idea for what weapon or item I should showcase next. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, consider dropping a like, or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.